So this is review sheet J, question two. Um, we've got the population um, growing proportionally to the size of the population. So if the population is growing at a rate, that means dp by dt, changing population with time. And then that's proportional to the population at any time, so that's proportional to p. Um, as always with the proportional sign, let's change that to equals k lots of p. That's here. And we need to solve that. Um, and we're given some extra information as well, but we need to um, solve that and work out an equation for p. So we're going to do our separating of variables. We're going to divide down by the p's to get all the p's on the left and multiply up by dt to get all the t's on the right. And we're going to integrate both sides. Takes us to this side. Okay, integrating. 1 over p integrates to ln p. And we've got our modular signs there just in case p is negative. Uh, we've also integrating k with respect to t. You've got to be a little bit careful there. k is a constant, so that goes to k times t. Um, and we've got a plus c because we're integrating. Okay, um, he told us that... Oh, I'm going to rearrange that, sorry. Um, so rearranging this to get rid of the ln on the left-hand side, um, we're going to do e to the power of both sides. So e to the ln p is just g and e to all the other sides. Um, we're also going to do a little bit of a sneaky trick here. I could split this up into e to the kt times e to the c because the power law where if you're multiplying two things together you can add the powers. Um, so I'm splitting that back up and because c is a constant this whole term here is actually just a constant. Um, so I'm going to rename it a. So I've got p equals a e to the kt. Uh, we're given some initial information. We're told that initially, so that means when t equals zero, the population is 2. So let's substitute that in. So I've got 2 equals a e to the, well, k times 0 is just 0, therefore, um, as e to the 0 is 1, a is 2. And rewriting, substituting that back in, a equals 2 in here, that gives me the result of that. So that's 2 part a all done. Let's have a look at 2 part b. Um, so we've already shown the result for part A, and it says that after six years, the population is 100. So let's substitute that information in. So we've got T, the time being six, population is 100, and substituted 100 in here, and six in here. Um, and that's going to let us work out K, which is our only unknown. So let's half both sides. Half of 100 is 50, that gets rid of that two. Um, I'm trying to get into the K, which is in the E, so let's learn both sides. And as you know, learn in here, inverses, that cancels out. So I've got learn 50 equals 6K, and then dividing by 6 gives me a 6 learn 50, which is what we're aiming for. Okay, and last of all, part C. We want to know the population after 20 years. So let's go back to our equation. We now know what k is as well. We write it with all the information and we know. Now we've got that t is 20. So substituting that all in, we've worked out that p equals 2e to the k, which was 650 times t, which is 20. And that's just a calculator job. Nearest thousand, it's 921,000. That's question two done.